Welcome back. It's so good to see our friend Kurt Kendrick from Arctic Food Equipment. We haven't seen you in a couple months, my friend. Yeah. I know. I went on vacation to Florida, and I sent Nathan and in my stead, <laughs> and then he did the HVAC one last week, because mm -hmm. that is out of my wheelhouse. Okay. Oh, got you. Well, we love you yes. both, and we love yeah. Arctic Food Equipment. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks. And I really like the theme that you brought today because of the season. Like, you're really thinking ahead because I would be like, a meat slicer, I don't know if I have enough meat to use one of those, but it, it's really great for hunting. Yeah, it is hunting season, and we have sold several slicers to guys for their deer camps and stuff. It just makes processing a whole lot faster, especially most people turn a lot of their deer into jerky. Mm -hmm. Oh, So right. when you want to thin slice it and not just be there for a month yeah. of Sundays, hand slicing all this meat, it right. just really changes the ball game. You know, you really have to have the right tools for any job mm -hmm. to do it so easily. Otherwise, you could just struggle. Can you just see us trying to cut some meat like well, that's, <laughs> that's right. I'm just saying. And that's why we tell everybody to come over to Arctic and tell us what you're wanting to do and yeah. what you're looking for and what goals you hope to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And we can usually set you up with exactly what you need to make everything a lot easier and more productive. Yeah. Which is really Same key time. right now with oh. the difficulty in finding <clears throat> staff. You know, if you're down to two or three people and you need your prep work yeah. to go a lot faster in the kitchen so you're not taxing everybody, yeah. it helps to have the right tools. Good idea. And speaking of the right tools, yeah. let's say you have, you're at the campsite and you have the deer, you have the slicer, you, you could prep other stuff right here on the, on the giant cutting boards. Yes, and when you're breaking down the other pieces of meat that you're not going yeah. to slice, a big cutting board is necessary. It they is. come color coded um, for the restaurants and institutions. So green would be for vegetables, red oh. would be for meat, oh. whites for dairy or bread. Um, and that keeps everything food safe, especially That's in allergy nice. situations and things like that. I'm just like showing that. how big this is, like it covers it, it my is, whole body. It is huge, guys. Like seriously, um, that's huge. We were just talking about how huge this is, but sometimes if you, you know, you're using the smaller boards, you're cutting things and, and it's falling off. And with this, you're gonna be able to keep everything on the board. Also nice to use for a big charcuterie board too. Oh. If you need an extra big board, they're easily cleaned off afterwards. Yeah. You don't have to worry about staining if you put certain fruits and stuff on one of your wood boards. Right. Yeah. Every time I put blackberries on my bamboo board, it ends up with a big black <laughs> spot. That's <laughs> true. Well, don't use that in I know, right? Don't Kurt, you also anymore. mentioned the cute little yeah. hook because you could hang this. Yeah. Yeah. For storage. Um, I hang mine off my wire shelving in my pantry and they just hang out of the way. And you know, the, anybody so can good. use these, but I'm serious, unless you have an industrial size uh, washer, you might want to wash this off with your hands. Yeah, definitely your, have to your, hand wash that yeah. big one. I don't know of a dishwasher that would <laughs> fit know. in. Yeah, exactly. This is also the season that I uh, sharpen all my knives, which I do about four times a year on a stone. These kinds of sharpeners there that Jeremy's got in his mm -hmm. hand are good for in-between usage, just mm -hmm. to keep them. So wait, thin. is this one in-between? Yeah, that's a good in-between to keep them going for you, but a stone is necessary a few times a year to really put that edge back on them. How long does a stone last? Forever. Forever, that's what I thought. I need one of these because you know how to many times- To protect you? Yeah, because I, when I take it out of the dishwasher, I cut myself sometimes. Yeah. This is really handy. This we do sell sleeve. knife covers. That is wax dipped yeah, from the factory just, yeah. to keep the edge from hurting anybody, but we that's do fancy. sell edge covers like yeah. that that you can slide them right in. That reminds me of how I used to seal my letters with the wax and I'd stamp it and then- <laughs> yeah. Send it with the pigeon. And there it you go. It took forever to get there sometimes. It's good and to they put detour. an edge cover on when you have them in a drawer, too. Yeah. Well, you're sliding it is. that drawer and they're oh, banging yeah. together in there, yeah. which dulls them pretty fast. Or if you're not putting it in a drawer, you're putting it on this. Yeah, I love these ni magnetic knife boards. Man, look at that. Look at that. Even I've already if you, told Kelly I want this for Christmas. I just use mine for <laughs> when I'm doing something. Yes. Grab the three knives that I'm going to be using right, right then and stick to it and have over by you. So. Yeah. So, um, do you have different sizes of these, or is that the main it size? Is that the, that's the only size I have. In fact, I don't know that I've seen a okay. different size. Okay, so that's really cool. I'm just, I'll ask you later how much it is, because Jeremy's begging me to buy that for his I know. Christmas gift. He's been saying just, he wanted one you know. of those every time he comes in. Yeah. I know. Oh, has he? Now he's going to have me buy it for Christmas. <laughs> that's well, right. I need to find out so the price so I can equally give him it's something affordable. to, to it's uh, affordable. buy It's affordable. It's affordable. It's affordable. It's actually yes. very affordable. And, they, and people should go into Arctic to check it out, because like I said, I go in there, I'm like, I need to get this and this and this. It's yeah. not just for restaurants, no. it's for everybody. No, and people are shocked when they come in there. I yeah. think they think it's just gonna be equipment and I've got a whole huge- Lots of things. Smallwares floor too, and so there's lots. We've had a lot more homeowners and 
they're pretty excited when they get in there. Yeah. I, I tell them all I had to get a job there so I could afford everything I wanted. <laughs> so. But it is fun to go in there and shop around because, I mean, you it find is. things that you're like, wow, look at this. Yeah, and... Uh, Homeowners are surprised how much the commercial items can be used right. in home too and last longer and, and again, are made better. Make your life easier. Way easier. Yeah, so that's great. I love and that's that. the whole thing is making them, buying them quality and they last longer so you don't have to keep buying yeah. stuff. Yeah, buy once, last forever. Mama taught me that lesson. Yeah. yeah. You may pay a little bit more on the upfront, but if you're not having to replace it every couple years, then right. it is well worth it for it the is. better brand name. Yeah, I love that. Jeremy, I might want this slicer for Christmas. I saying. think that's above my budget. <laughs> <laughs> for, I, by the way, I don't too, know. She puts up with you every week. I know, week. that's like, true. You, I think you. you can afford it. I think <laughs> that's true. Um, so if somebody could come in, get their little Christmas list together, yeah. and then that's a great way to tell people, hey, I've And I still have tech. the Lodge cookware that we showed off oh, last yes. year. Oh, I brought nice. it in, which yeah. always goes good at Christmas yeah. time. That's a really good gift item. Um, there's lots of things, and especially those, if you... Ice cube things? The ice yes. cubes. Oh, I love and those. the little crystal goblets that I want I to actually have. got better ice cube, silicone ice cube. Oh, I have to see those That makes time. both rounds you, and squares. Can you come back at Christmas and make us Christmas cocktails with those? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll make I'm just Christmas, asking for stuff now. <laughs> like a rum chata, horchata type please. cinnamony, creamy cocktail. Sounds maybe a spiced good. apple cider or mold yes, wine. Yes, please. Or, all right. um, everybody make note of that because we're holding him accountable yes. now. We have to have that. <laughs> okay. Kirk, it's we'll great to it. see you. It's good to see it's you all, too. Thanks for having me again. All right. We'll see you soon. All right. When we come back, we are talking to another uh, local company that is part of our Buy Missouri. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Yes. Wow. I love this. That's so fun. That is